out, came out bussin', came out bluffin', came out fuckin' with your cousin. I do all these bruises, bruises, then they daddy put you over. Feel that heat, and we can ride the boogie. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. I am Miss Lovely back with another video, you guys. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a something that I've never done before on this channel. I don't think. I don't think I've done something like this before. But it's going to be different. Y'all know 2023, we coming with new content. You know what I'm saying? We're going to take it up on, the, on the, a level. Take it up a notch. Pick it up. Kick it up a little notch. Okay? So you guys know that I have been in my whole sneaker kick, a sneaker kick for like the last week or two. Maybe, if, no, I'll say about a few months now. I've never been the type to be a sneaker girl per se, but I guess the older I'm getting, the more my style is changing, the more my vibe is changing. And I feel like I can still be sexy in a pair of sneakers. So you guys, I am doing a review. I'm reviewing these pair of sneakers right here. These are the, let me get my notes because y'all know I'm not all that savvy with the Jordans just yet. But hold on, let me get my notes just to make sure I'm saying it right. So these are the Retro Jordan 4 Military Black. Um, now I do know that they range anywhere from like 345 to $345 to $500 on certain websites. But if you guys check the comment section in the bottom of this particular video, you guys will uh, be able to use my code and get a percentage off of these sneakers. They've got several other sneakers that you guys can go and check out. They're very, very reasonable. So we did, um, I had the help of my son as well as my husband check out these sneakers right here just to look at the authentic authenticity of the shoes as far as, you know, if they check out all right. And y'all, these are like some beauties, okay? When I say beauties, the colorway is like phenomenal. You got the black, the white, the leather on here is spectacular. The cuts on here are superb. Um, even down to the bottom, the sole, the flat part right here, I think that checked out okay. They were checking on the inside. Y'all, this is a super, super dope shoe, okay? What I like about, what I like about, them, the, sh about the shoes the most is the colorway. You can never go wrong with a pair of black and white sneakers. I don't care how you slice it. I don't care how you dice it. You can wear these shoes with tights, jeans, skirts dresses if you got the right idea as far as how you can dress up a dress with some sneakers thank you so much to cozyzone.ru for sending me these pair of sneakers to review on my channel you guys when i say i love 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 these sneakers so what i'm going to do is i'm going to model these shoes for you guys i'm, I'm going to leave all the information in the comment section y'all go and check them out just keep in mind that this review is for educational purposes only. I think they did give me a code to use for some money off. And y'all already know, it's about to be tax time for some of y'all. So y'all about to be getting the, re the big refund checks. I'm going to need y'all to use my link in the comment section. Use my link. Use that percentage off. Go ahead and get you some sneakers for the kids because y'all already know how we like to do. Y'all know we like to ball on the budget around here. So with that being said, thank you so much to CozyZone.ru for sponsoring this portion of the video and sending me these sneakers, you guys. And I'll give you guys some different shots of the shoes or whatever, let you see how they look on my feet. And yeah, guys, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this part of the video. Y'all comment down below and let me know what y'all think of these shoes right here. They are like super, super cute. I love them. 
I can't wait to wear them. All right, talk to y'all, and I'll see y'all on to the vlog. Last, last. Now everybody go to our breakfast. Shadow. Welcome back to another vlog. <sighs> How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? I'm doing good on this marvelous day. It's a lovely day in the neighborhood. How about that? It is quite a lovely day. So, you guys, I am in the vehicle, as you can see, clearly. I'm about to head to... I am not with Metro anymore. I am with ATMT. And guess what? My bill's still low. That part. But anyway, I'm about to head to ATMT to um see if I can get me an upgrade on my phone because my phone... I have a 12 Pro Max and I like to upgrade my phone every two years. That's just something that I've been doing since I've been with AT&T and I've been able to been able, I've been with AT&T, I know at least for the past 10 years. And every time a new phone come out, I don't be on the thing. I don't be trying to get the newest phone. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have just become accustomed to getting a new phone every two years. So, I got the 12 Pro Max, and now I'm getting ready to go up here and see if I can get the 14 Pro Max. Because it seemed like when AT&T do... um upgrades and stuff like that it seemed like my phone just start glitching and it start jumping and it start doing it just start it just be being weird it just be being really weird to me like it just be doing like weird stuff and i'm like i didn't say i didn't it just be acting up every time it do like an upgrade or a, um upgrade um like an update on my phone or whatever so and this time because i've had like I said, I've had this one, this phone that I have now, this 12 Pro Max for two years now. So it's definitely time for me to do an upgrade. So I'm about to go over here to this ATMT, see what they're talking about, see what kind of upgrade I can get. Hopefully, I think I'm eligible for a free upgrade, if I'm not mistaken. Because I know every time, like every two years, I try to like keep up with my um keep up with my plan and stuff like that. So, I'm going to go in here and see what they got, see what kind of offers, and see what kind of deals they got for me. And, yeah. 
Now, I did upgrade. Now, my kids, they got the latest. They get the latest and the greatest. Y'all know how we as mamas, we make sure the kids got the latest and the greatest and will get us later. And that's just kind of how I am with it. As long as my kids got what they need, the latest and the greatest or whatever they want, I try my best to make sure that they have all that. But I don't necessarily... I, and I, I don't... I mean, because all I do is really talk and text on my phone. Well, I won't say that's all I do because I do a lot of stuff on my phone. But... I, um, it's not like a high desire or, or like a, a major need for me to like upgrade my phone every time a new phone come out. You know what I'm saying? If that makes sense. All right, so let's go into this ATMT and see what we can do, see what we can get into. So come on, guys. I might put y'all in. I might put y'all in my purse for right now until I might pull y'all back out until we see what they say. Let's see what they say first. But I'm pretty sure we'll be able to um, get us a little upgrade or whatever. But in the event, I think I'm going to put y'all up and pull y'all back out when I get done. I don't know. We'll see. We'll read the room. How about that? Let's just go read the room and see what's what. And if the room is... Uh, if the room is... If the room is... You know conducive to for me to pull y'all out then i'll pull y'all out okay i need to charge this battery y'all i'll be having batteries everywhere i got a battery here i got a battery here in my cup holder i think i need to i i have these everywhere because the the darn charger the 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 battery life don't be all that great so i'll be having the need i'll be needing I be needing my charger. I be needing my batteries. Okay. So y'all come on with me. Like I said, I'm gonna put y'all up for right now. But if the atmosphere is conducive for y'all to come in, then I'm gonna bring y'all along with me. Ugh. Okay, so I can't talk long, you guys, but obviously I am eligible for an upgrade. Thank you, Jesus. So she's going in the back to check to see if they have the color that I want. Um, hopefully they do have the color that I want. It's going to be either between the deep purple or the matte black. Um, and yeah guys, so I'm excited about this new phone because it's definitely time. Like, it just, it just ain't giving no more. Like, it just ain't giving. So, I'll call you back. I'll call you back. Okay, good news and bad news. So, I was able to go ahead and get my upgrade. Thank you, Lord. However, they, ATMT, don't have my phone in stock for the, not the 256 gig, but the 560 something gig. They don't have that one in store. So they gave me the option to go to Best Buy and do my tr um, get, do my phone like that. Or they can actually have a ATMT uh, delivery come to the house and deliver my phone. And I think she said it's, let me read my phone and verbatimly what she said. And I was like, I didn't even know they did that now. Well, child, it and ATMT coming up. They said it is. Let me see. Give me the. Let me give, let me give you all the right terminology. The AT&T representative will be delivering the phone to my house in two days to um, help me set the phone up and any questions that I might have. Okay, ATMT. <laughs> We up to big and better things, honey. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> but anyway, y'all. So yeah, so I was able to do the upgrade. So now I got to stick with my little 12 Pro Max for a few more days, which is okay. I ain't nobody. I'm. I'm. It's fine. And then they're gonna have a delivery ATMT delivery person bring me my phone on in two days. How sweet of that. How sweet is that. I'm. I'm. I'm excited that I'm, I'm 
I'm happy about that. Okay. I'm excited for myself about that. And I think I'm going to get me some fries. Some french fries while I'm over here. So I'm just leaving the ATM tea store. Get me some french fries. And some college greens. No, I want no college greens. So, alright you guys. So it's getting ready to get dark out here. Because y'all know it get dark at 2 o'clock in the afternoon now. So, you don't have no daytime. If you ain't out by 6 o'clock in the morning, get your day started, honey. And the, the, the day over. It's over. Because it, it turned black real quick these days. Okay. But let me consecrate. And I'm going to call y'all back. I'm going to call y'all back when I, got, when I get scraped. Okay. Oh, and this line ain't so long either. I love it for myself. They line normally when I come through here, they line be real long, but it ain't long today. So let's go over here and get us some, some fresh fries. <laughs> yeah. Thursday yeah happy Thursday y'all so yesterday I only put up the camera maybe like for 10 minutes and that was it because I was just mentally not there and when I'm mentally not there I don't want to come half I don't want to present myself halfway if I'm not a hundred percent with you guys I don't want to be 50% with you guys because I'm not a 50% type of girl you know what I'm saying and I just wasn't in the mental space. And February the 1st is the day that my mom transitioned. So it was very emotional for me that yesterday. So that's why I didn't really film anything other than what you guys just saw. So in that, with that being said, my husband did come home last night with some flowers. These are so pretty. So pretty, right? They are so gorgeous. I love the color of them. They are so pretty. So thoughtful. He bought me these. Some french fries because I wanted some french fries. And... Oh, let me also show you guys my um, newest sneaker addiction. So y'all know I've been on my sneaker kick for a while. And I was just browsing or whatever. And my husband, y'all know my husband is a sneaker head. For real, for real. So I was just telling him that I wanted some sneakers to wear... To my son's or my kids football game whenever football season starts up again which when y'all know football season's not over with but i'm just saying i wanted to have some just so my gear can be on point so he surprised me with these sneakers y'all he is so sweet i love my husband so much y'all so he surprised me and bought these sneakers for me so i think these are dunks or jordan ones i think they're jordan ones so i got some new sneakers and of course i've already done my unboxing and i unboxed these on tiktok so if you guys aren't following me on tiktok you definitely should follow me on tiktok follow me on facebook follow me on instagram because they see everything first the vlog is like the last to see everything tiktok especially especially tiktok and Sometimes I, I'm getting in, the, in in more in the habit of uh, posting more shorts on Facebook as well. So, but they see everything first. They see it every, everything first, which I'm pretty sure y'all don't care when I post it. Y'all just love the vlogs for some reason. But yeah, guys, so these are, then this is my, my son's, the kids' school colors. And y'all know we football family around here. So I was like, oh, that was so sweet of him to do that. So, I got me a pair of Jordan 1s. 
So I thought that was very sweet of him to um to buy me, to cheer me up. And I thought it was so sweet. So I'm in here being productive as always, working, dog sitting, okay, doing the things, all the things that a work from home uh, wife does, okay, washing clothes, okay, never not have enough, seem like the, I'm always washing clothes 24-7, eight days a week. And I do have a few more packages coming today. But they haven't quite got here yet. So I'll open up those packages whenever they come. But I hope you guys are doing well. I am doing phenomenal. I'm doing much better. Yesterday, Like I said, yesterday was very emotional for me. Because it just brings back so many memories of my mom and... It was just something about February the 1st that I just, I just, I'm just not 100% always there mentally. You know what I'm saying? Um, and if you've ever lost a, a parent, then you kind of know the feelings that you have around the date that they actually trans, you know, transition. Um, and I know they say time, it time heals all wounds and over time it gets better. And which it does, which it does get a little bit better. Um, and it helps, it, it subsides a little bit, but it's still, it's still the thoughts that's there. It's still the, the memories that, you know, just kind of surface or whatever. And, you know, excuse me, Facebook has a tendency of reminding you of things that you post the year before. So when I looked on Facebook early yesterday morning, that was one of the first things that it reminded me of the memories that took place during this time of year last year and then the year before that so yeah guys so i'm not doing anything at the moment um oh i did order some um karma drinks you guys the karma drinks honey i ordered a pack of these i ordered a whole case a whole case. I ain't just went to the store and bought one or two. I ordered the entire case, y'all. And when I say <laughs> that drink had me on the toilet, it had me on the toilet, okay? The toilet, okay? The toilet and me was having a, a few conversations, okay? Y'all look kind of dirty. Is y'all dirty? Hold on. Let me let me clean y'all off. Y'all can be out here looking all dry facing and stuff. Y'all came me out here looking dirty now. Y'all know why I raised you right. Act like you got some sense out here looking all dirty. Let me clean y'all off. But yeah, them, them drinks right there. Now, they do work. It does clean your gut out. And of course, it's supposed to support gut health. And y'all already know I got bad guts as it is. Because I got my gallbladder removed a few years ago. So, that kind of amplifies, amplifies um, gut health. So it's a probiotic water. I think you guys have seen or heard about it before if you haven't. It's um, like a probiotic drink, basically. It's all over TikTok. Um, and I was just wanted to try it. And I'm glad I did try it because it did do a lot of cleansing and things like that. So I have to drink those drinks whenever I'm home. I definitely cannot drink that while I'm out because it definitely, it, it definitely does what it's supposed to do. It lives up to its word good health <laughs> okay good health all right you guys so i'm gonna call y'all back in a little bit
so I did get my package. My package came in. It's a few hours later, as a matter of fact. But y'all, um, let me show y'all my cute little box cutters that I bought from Amazon. I think they're so cute. Let me put y'all on the stand somewhere. Hold the line. All right, so I got y'all on the stand. Drop y'all up right here. So these are the cute little box cutters that I got from Amazon. And of course I was introduced to them by TikTok. TikTok got us, got everybody buying all kinds of stuff. But they're like a box come like this. And they're like this, y'all. They are so cute. And it's like a box of them. And they got different colors. It's a pink one. Like this color one right here. Like it's a lot more in here. But I'm not about to pull them all out. But they come like with, I think it's like, um, how many, 12 of them in here. But they're like cute little, just to have them around the house or whatever. So I use them to, and they just slide like that, and then they stay like that. And it's a cute little box cutter when you have like a lot of packages and stuff like that. So I thought that was just something to buy. But anyway, so I did get a package. And make sure my address ain't showing. Okay, yeah, so this is the little package. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna do, should I do a reel on this? I think I'm gonna do a reel on this as well. So y'all gonna, I'm gonna prop y'all up and let y'all watch me do the unboxing of my new edition. Um, so, let y'all watch. Move this out of the way. Can y'all see everything? Move y'all back some. All right, so hopefully you guys can see exactly. So I got, use this tripod right here. I don't know if I think I've showed this to you guys before, but this is what I use to hold my phone on. It collapses down like this. This is a, it gets really, really tall, y'all. But I got this from Amazon too. It comes with a, um, a remote right here. And pop it off. Got it like that, but I don't really use it like that. So that snaps on. But this is the holder for the phone. And then it gets really, really long. Y'all see that? And it gets really tall. And then it has the three prong, not prong, but three feet, I guess. The three things, the, the three anchors. It's going to open up. So I'm going to stand it up. Make it as long as it can go. So y'all, y'all see how tall it is? But of course, I don't need it this tall when I'm doing my reel. Um, clean my phone off, because I like to use my back camera whenever I do my reels. So I'm gonna put my phone in here like so. Oop, come on. Y'all, I think the, this phone case is really cute on my phone or whatever, but it's not, it's too bulky, um, and it's not friendly enough. It's too, it's too bulky. This part back here, the little astronaut man is too bulky, and it causes me to, it's just not handheld friendly, shall I say? But anyway, so I am ordered me some new phone cases, which I don't even understand why did I order... Okay, so let me tell y'all. So I ordered, okay, so this is the 12 Pro Max, right? And like last week, I ordered like 10 cases for this phone. And y'all know the other day, I just ordered the new phone. So now I got to order new cases for the new phone. Why did I order so many cases last week for this phone? When I knew I was going in the process of upgrading my phone. That was so smart. So now I'm going to have a bunch of... 12 Pro Max cases that I don't know what I'm going to do with. And then I'll, yeah, 
that was that was uh, that was not smart of me to do. But anyway, I digress. Okay. So anyway, so let me set my phone up right here so I can position it to where it will just show the item. I'm going to hit record video. All right. And let me flip it this way because I don't want my address to show. Um, I'm going to have it like that. All right. Move this out the way. It's all about angles and getting the good stuff. Like it take, I won't say practice, but you just gotta know what kind of. How can I put it? You got to know what kind of look you're wanting to go for, and I know everything doesn't have to be aesthetically pleasing because I'm not a aesthetic girl. Like I like some things aesthetically pleasing, aesthetically pleasing. Um, but not everything. I'm not so gung-ho that everything is all the beiges and the beiges and the beiges. I'm not like that. But, however, I do like things nice and order and tidy. But I still... Y'all get what I'm saying. But anyway. So, when I do my reel, I have to make sure that my background is, like, really nice and clear and crisp. I make sure that my camera lens is really clean. And then I just... Um, I'll let you guys just sit and watch because it, it does take some time. It takes me a few moments, a few takes to kind of get it right, to get my angle right and stuff like that. See, like I want this flower in here. So I'm trying to see if I can get So yeah, the flower is not going to be able to fit in here. So I'm not going to even worry about that. However, the back of the flower vase can show just a little bit. I wonder if I move this up some. Nah, that'd be all right. Cause I don't want it to focus on the flowers. I actually wanted to focus on the the item that I'm going to be unboxing. So I'm just going to move this this way. I'm going to hit record, slide it in like so. Then I'm going to hit stop. Then I'm going to grab my handy dandy uh, box cutters that I just got. And I'm going to just show me opening up the package. Then I'm going to stop that. All right. I'm going to close, close this up because I don't need this no more. And then I'm going to flip it over. It looks like it's this way so I'm gonna come around this way and my battery about to go there I'll show y'all the end the result of how the real look whenever I get done because my battery is about to die and I want to get this real done while I got a free moment um so y'all just should see the final product okay I'm gonna let y'all run until y'all till y'all battery die and then when it die then I'll just show y'all the final product why I keep repeating myself okay it's it's the end of the drink anyway So I don't like the way that looks. So I'm going to pull it out, put it back in. I'm going to go back and erase that clip because I don't even want that clip. All right. Video again. Slide it out. All right. So stop. All right. So I'm going to discard that and then I'm going to show a portion of me opening up the box. Hit stop. And I'm going to... Journaling ready. So 
how about I'm on the Shein website <clears throat> checking to see where my package is at? Child, how about time I go on there to see where my package at? My doorbell, I mean, not my doorbell, my email notification go off saying that your package has been delivered. I'm like, okay, timing. That's just one of my many pack packages that I'm expecting from Shein, y'all. I've been going Shein crazy for some reason lately. And the, P and the man came and delivered my phone. So I got the new phone. So now I got to read the instructions as to how to get my old information off of my 12 Pro to the 14 Pro and activate it. But they said, he said it's real easy, so... We'll see how that works as far as activation. But yeah, this is the Apple 14 Pro Max. This is purple, and this one is the 500. Let me see. I think I got the 564 gigs. I don't remember what the gig the gig is, but I know it's the one above the 256. Cause this one, the 12, the 12 Pro Max that I had or well, that I have now was 256 gigs, but this one was a little bit more. So this one is the five, I'm gonna say five something. I thought it would say on here. 512. So it's 512. Yeah, 512 gigabyte for this one. So that's what this one is. So I'll open this up later. But anyway, so let me open up my little package from Shein, a shine. Whatever we, whatever, however y'all want to call it. Now where is my um little doohickey at when I need it? Hold on, y'all. Let me get my um my box, my my little cute box cutter. Hold on. So these right here come in handy, y'all, because they so cute and dainty, like they can feel like in my purse, any and everywhere. Oh God, come on, stay. These nails. Come on. What the devil? Alright. Just hold it like that. Make sure it's at the bottom so I won't cut my stuff. Open it up. Let's see what I got. Which I already know what I got, but it's just the fact of opening up packages. I get so excited. Y'all get excited when you open up packages? I do. All right, let's see what else I got. Who it is? What else? And I got these some jeans. Okay, so they're they're very stretchy. What I did didn't do my original size because they probably would have been too big. But there's some standard new jeans. But what I love about them is y'all look at this. They got the pink hearts on it. Ain't it cute? So freaking cute. See, so yeah, and it's only on this one leg. I see that only on one leg. So I'll probably do like a side by side screen, let you guys see it when I try it on. So y'all can see what it look like. I hope these things ain't too big because they look kind of wide. I mean, I know I got a wide booty or whatever. Let's hope they they fit me pretty good, cause y'all know them they size and be kind of funny like a little bit. But we'll see. But anyway, so yeah, that's on that particular order. Everything else should be coming within a few days.